Hello, my name is Michael Hartmann from Compendial, and here is a special edition of our talkies relative to some changes that Microsoft announced to the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program. As you might know, when Microsoft announced the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program and the solution designation for business application and the thresholds that partner need to go over to get into the solution designation, there has been a lot of pushback from partners. And we took that uh, uh, feedback from partners. As Companio, we are the ambassadors uh, for our partners. And we worked with uh, different levels at Microsoft um, to influence a change. And it's great to see that Microsoft has reacted on our feedback and the feedback from other partners and has now announced a change for the solution designation for business application. And with me, um, I have Agne from our Companio team. Agne, who is running our cloud solution uh, provider program in Companio. Now, Agne, please tell us, um, you know, what is the impact of the change that Microsoft has announced? So in reality, this change uh, is an affecting the scoring framework that Microsoft built to assess partners' capabilities within the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program. And they call that framework Partner Capability Score. So uh, with the change, uh, most of the partners are seeing increase in the uh, count of their Partner Capability Score. And it is especially positive for the partners serving dynamic small and mid-sized businesses within larger markets. Uh, and that is because Microsoft re replaced uh, market classification with a customer segment based classification. So therefore partners within other markets uh, might see a dip in their partner capability score, but Microsoft is open to reduce points back by the end of September as a one-time adjustment that will be valid for a period of three months to allow partners to adjust to the new requirements. Okay, so instead of differentiating markets, uh, now we are differentiating customer segments, if you like. So, so then what is, what is the difference between the SMB track and the enterprise track? Mm -hmm. So before diving into differences, let's remember that uh, Microsoft Cloud Partner Program is bringing a number of benefits. And those benefits are the same, either we look in the SMB or the enterprise track. And when looking, uh, talking about the difference, right? Uh, let us remember that the SMB track is brought here to kind of emphasize the velocity of the customer ads. So on the skilling side, the SMB track expects partner um, professional organization to have up to 10 professionals and enterprise track is expecting to have up to 30 mm -hmm. professionals within the partner organization. When we, talk, we are talking about the customer acquisition, there is a high expectation on the SMB side with 20 customers acquired throughout the annual term or 10 customers acquired within the enterprise term. Though the size of the customer uh, is three times uh, smaller within the SMB track than in enterprise track. Sense, yeah. Equally, monthly consumption value growth on the SMB track is higher at 40%, where within the enterprise track, that's at 35%. Okay. So um, as you said, we expect more velocity or um, growth from smaller carton, but they are um, in smaller um, customer engagements or deals, right? So, so what is then your recommendation, Agne, for, for our partners? So the first thing to do is to check where you are currently with this change, right? So please uh, go to the Microsoft Partner Center and check your membership dashboard to see where you are and how big the gap. Second thing uh, is to plan your training and certification to fulfill the skilling requirements. Companion Academy and Booster programs are there to help you fill the gaps within the, within the skilling within your organization. And last but not least is to continuously grow the cloud business uh, to get to the required uh, 70 partner capability points. Yeah. 
So uh, look into migrations of the existing customers, uh, see whether you could upsell additional um, uh, subscriptions to the existing ones and uh, accelerate the deployments. At Companial, we collected all of the Companial know-how uh, into the Fast Track to Microsoft Cloud Partner Program that you could, could find on www.companial.com. Great. So uh, thanks, Agne, for that information. I think it's uh, good news for our partners um, that we have seen this change. And thanks for um, all the explanation and the practical tips for our partners. And with that, um, we wish you um, all the best uh, in the Microsoft Cloud Partner Program and talk to you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.